Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to switch things up a little bit. Instead of doing a shell removal of a locomotive, we're actually going to address removing the roof of this Pullman car. So this is a, a modern era Lionel, be considered modern era. Um, I'm not exactly sure what year this particular one is. I just picked it up at a train show the other week, and I noticed that... Uh, one of the bulbs in this particular one seems to be burnt out or there's something funky going on. I had to do a little bit of research on this one because it being a modern one, there's no screws in the bottom to undo in order to take this roof off. So it was a little bit of a mystery. What I found to get these out is there are windows in here that are actually tabs that have to be pressed in in order for this roof to pop off. And what actually is going on inside is all of this white plastic is attached to the black roof. So when you lift the roof off, the whole uh, assembly comes out. What has been suggested and mentioned in some other videos I've found in some instruction manuals is you have to push inwards on certain windows, which will push the tab past its lock, enabling the roof to come off. I can tell you from experience now, it doesn't work that easily. Um, when they tell you to push in on these windows, you gotta push. I mean, push till you think you're gonna break the thing, and even then, it still might not pop up by itself. So there's a couple people that have actually suggested uh, getting a flathead screwdriver, maybe a kitchen knife, uh, a pocket knife or something, piece of metal that's dull that might not scratch the finish or the roof. I don't even want to go there. What I found and what I've been using are these. And if you're not familiar with them, they're uh, flossers for your teeth. So what I do is they actually come like this with the little toothpick end on it, but that's a little too flimsy. So I just cut that back leaving this blunt little edge here and use that to jam in and it's not going to scratch the finish of the car it's not going to wreck it at all <clears throat> so let's go through the process of taking this lid off and uh, i'll show you the best way i found to do this without damaging the car itself first of all while this is down on a surface and as you can see i got some bubble wrap and some cardboard just to give it a bit of a cushion you can use a towel or something, or whatever you got, just so you don't scratch up any of the surfaces on these cars. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for the tab windows. Now, I don't know if you can actually see this on the camera or not, but as you go along, look up into where the window tucks under this frame here, okay? And you will notice as you go along one of them is actually sticking up over the frame a bit. And in this case, it's this one here and this one here. Uh, one of the other tips I had found was it seems to be the windows that are on either end of the lettering. So you can start by looking for that. Next, just look for the window that's raised up a bit. If you look close enough, you'll, you'll actually see how different it is from the other windows. It just might not be as apparent on this video. Like I said, you have to push in these tabs, which will, sometimes you'll hear a pop, sometimes you won't, and then that will, is supposed to, rather, lift, allow this roof to lift off. But it doesn't. So what I found I had to do is you take your modified tooth floss tool, push in, and I mean really push in, and try to jam this up into there there we go it's in and leave it in there to hold that in place so this is now unlocked as you can see there has there's a bit of an increase in the gap there it's lifted off the edge down here so i leave that one in get another one of these push again push down real hard just like that okay and you can actually 
lay it flat down and as, as you can see this one worked a little better <clears throat> than the other side it came up much easier so I leave these in maybe slide them a little towards the the tighter edge so they hold in place and then go over to the other side now obviously you can't lay it down flat but that's not a problem since you've got it pretty much opened at this point it should be fairly easy to do so again you gotta push in really hard and try to jam this in here to help it release there we go so I got that one there's the three oh, I lost one on the one side but it's okay because it's out now it's not going to pop back in and get the last window here push down on it oh I think it already released the seal there we go just give it a bit of a jiggle here and up it comes and there you go oh and here's the problem right here with this one the light had actually fallen out of the socket there's that problem fixed okay but as you can see oh and also looks like there was some packaging or something in this roof that was actually blocking the light as well I don't know what what in the devil this is here I don't know if that's, if that's supposed to be there. Maybe we'll just push it up a little bit higher there. I'm not sure if that paper is supposed to be there or not. Um, but I'm going to leave it in. I just pushed it up out of the way of the, uh, of the windows themselves so it doesn't block the light. But now that you've got the window or the assembly out, you can see these little notches much better. Okay? So there's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And there's another there. So like I said, all of these Pullman style cars, uh, maybe even some of the little more modern non-Pullman, I don't know what you'd call them, the silver ones, I think they all operate the same way. <clears throat> so all you do is you look along your window, you look for the one that's the tab, okay, and push. And I mean, if you were watching, you might have seen that I was pushing really, really hard on this. And it still didn't break any of these window frames, okay? And there's not even any white stress marks on the inside. So you'll be safe. If you just use your hands, don't go getting a hammer on it. You don't need to stick a screwdriver in there. You're just going to need to apply that pressure, get some wedges under there, pop up that lid, and you should be good to go, okay? Okay. And now we just drop it back in. You'll hear it click. The sides will close in on each other. And that's it. Uh, one other little tip that I want to show you guys here with these particular Pullman cars is when you're actually pulling the wheels out um, from these little plastic saddles that are inside these metal trucks. If you look closely, we'll try to zoom in real close here, you'll see that there is a space up here and if you actually, if I angle it right, there's that little shine there. That's a little tab for this plastic saddle. So what you can do is you just get a flathead screwdriver in there. And you just lightly push down on it. And you can see that the saddle will drop out. You do that on all three of them. And there you go. Your trucks all come out. No problem. I want to address these little copper tabs here. Now, they are pretty dirty. There's a little bit of corrosion on this end of it. So I am going to take my scotch pad and I'm going to uh, wipe that off. But instead of just trying to wipe it as it's floating here, because I do not want to bend this tab back. I don't want to wreck it. So I'm just going to put my thumb underneath it to give it some support. And then just drag the scotch pad over top of that. And you can see that's already coming up nice and shiny. So we'll just get that, and I really think this is going to improve how the lights in this car work a lot. And if it does, that means I've got... I better get it back on the camera. If it does, that means I've got four more to do, which 
I love these cars a lot, so putting this little bit of extra time is definitely going to be worth it. And there we go. Those are back in place, and we're good to go. All right, so I'm just going to clean the front set of rollers, and then we're going to throw this back on the track, and we're going to see uh, if the lights actually work much better than they did before. Okay, so we've got all the Pullman cars back on our track. We got our layout set up. We got our little station set up as well. And we've got our 2056 way down there ready to hook up the cars and take them around the track. So let's see how well we did with uh, cleaning up their pickup rollers and everything and see if we've got lights operating in all of these cars, which I'm sure we do. It looks like all the lights are on in all the cars. It's looking good so far. Let's just bring 2056 back in, couple them up, and send them out. So there we have the uh, modern era Pullman cars all cleaned. We showed you how to take their roofs off to get to their light bulbs and wiring in case you needed access to that. So I hope you guys found the video helpful or entertaining or both. That'd be great. Uh, so please subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos like this or doing shell removals or general maintenance. I appreciate you coming back. Thanks again, and have a great day. Bye now.